Greetings everyone, it's from Rowdy here. Hope you're having a fantastic day. So last time on Lappen, we got chased by a weasel and it was all pretty scary, but Torky was there to save the day. And Torky, oh my god, he is my favourite. <laughs> and it's not just because he's a bird. But, um, and I did say last time we would talk about the whole bird thing, but let's get back into the gameplay as well. And I will hopefully not get too distracted by dialogue in game to not tell you the fantastic story about why people say I'm obsessed with birds, because I am not. <laughs> the ticket office. Ah, they did say that the party rested here, didn't they? But um, I'm just going to see if I can go back a little bit, because I want to see if I can go grab that see those seeds that I missed out on. Ooh. Oh, that's interesting. That is very interesting. What is this? It's a piece. It's a scroll, a leaflet with unreadable print human unreadable human letters. Okay, this is interesting because I'm guessing my friends are back this way. Well, oh no, but anyway. The whole bird thing. Um, so one of the things that um, play quite a fair bit of are um, I play <laughs> I play a fair bit of tabletop RPGs. And one of the systems that we play a fair amount of is Pathfinder. And with Pathfinder, um, the reason why we play Pathfinder is because I don't know. It, it, back at back in the day. We there was a bit of snobbiness. I'm not gonna lie. It, the snobbiness mostly derived from the fact that we well, D and D. Oh. Oh no. I just realised. I thought. Okay. I don't know. What, oh, never mind. I don't know what to think now. But yeah, the, the snobbiness was mostly because. Um, a friend of ours didn't particularly like D&D uh, &D 4th edition and was quite a big fan of D&D 3rd edition but 3rd edition has its own sort of issues and then the idea was well oh oh D&D 3rd edition has its own issues oh okay hmm. And so we started playing Pathfinder um, instead. Now Pathfinder is basically uh, 3.5 with a couple of changes here and there. Ah, no! <laughs> you know, there, there's... Um, they got rid of some of the... Sort of, there are certain skills that were sort of cut from Pathfinder expanded on certain things and generally speaking um a friend of ours just kind of preferred the system as a whole now it's only been in the last i want to say it's only been in the last year or so this has all come about um because we were playing a game that a friend of ours had set up, which had an East Asian theme. So we were told, hey, you know what, all the East Asian races, you know, look into them and, you know, really, really lean into this whole East Asian flavouring. It's like, yeah, sure, 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 East Asian. And one, one of the particular parts of, of this flavouring was a race called the Tengu, which are basically bird people. And um, <laughs> and I made it a point to um, I made it a point to play a Tengu. Not only did I make it a point to play a Tengu, I made it a point going forward that I was only going to play Tengu for this game, um, just because it was kind of funny at the time. Now the first character was um, the first character I had was this brawler. Now a brawler is a bit of a mixture. Hey, it's a um, in the shape of a leg with a fishy smell and the idea was he was oh, now he's I feel like I'm missing things which is not good oh maybe I'll go back 
though the game is probably already saved. This is this is the problem. Another weasel was nearby. Spotty got injured pretty bad trying to lure out the weasel. He didn't. Look, he doesn't look good. Oh no, not Spotty! Ah, no, a weasel! Ah, no! What? Ah! Oh my word! But anyway, um, what was was? Ah! Okay, okay, we're gonna go. Yui. Oh my word, this is <laughs> pretty intense. But um as I was saying, the um the, the brawler as a class is basically um he's a bit of a monk hybrid of the um he's, he's a monk fighter hybrid. So his entire remit is that he is, you know a bit of a rough and tumble sort of fighter. Um he gets but the monk sort of bonuses to unarmed combat and all that sort of stuff. He also gets uh, a whole load of other things that are just absolutely ridiculous and fun to play with. But this first character, anyway, that was yeah, that was bound to happen. Um, the other element of the character was that The, the other element is obviously he was this bird man, but he was part of this organization that w that me and my little brother had created for this campaign. It was, <laughs> damn it, it was a crime syndicate called the Yakroza. Because the idea is that the, you know, it's, um, East, okay, we're dealing with East Asian themes, so we thought, yeah, let's, let's steal something from um, the Japanese society here. And Yakroza is what we settled on because puns are just brilliant but um other than for the pun it also you know it, it, it made for fun world building that you had like this criminal organization oh no <laughs> you had this criminal organization which you know the gm could work with but we were members of the acrosa my guy was basically just this heavy he was this <laughs> ridiculously muscular man crow <laughs> Which is, yeah, I, I'll have to share a picture of it at some point because it is just, ah, oh, it's, it's, it all, it all stemmed from, uh, it actually goes back a bit further now that I think about it. Um, the, the sort of design for this character comes from this creature that I had discovered called the, um, the, the oh, the Diacorby, which, um, I can put up the description of the diacorby because it is beautiful. Uh weasel, 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 weasel. You finally made it! <laughs> but okay, I heard a weasel was chasing you. <laughs> now it's not the time for that. That beast is still after me. <laughs> hey, look at that. What? What now? If you cross the bridge, it will just follow us. I'll quickly run over and raise the bridge. I always wish the weasel can't follow us. Which is while the rest of us cross safely. Do you think you can do that? If it crosses as well, then I'll deal with it. Mont Blanc, no, don't do anything, just stay put. Anyway, we need to leave. So we've done all this. E. Louise is going to be like, no. No, Mont Blanc, don't do it. No! No! Come on, Blanc! Oh. The game has just gone full watership down on me. We buried our beloved friend Spotty here. Rest in peace, friend. We will meet again soon. Oh, no. Have you searched everywhere near the shore? Yes, but I couldn't find it. Same for us. Oh, I think we managed to fish Mont Blanc out. Mont Blanc really loved that red box, you know. Why is it so precious to Mont Blanc? No one knows exactly. Just that, well, that day. All right, let's start searching again. Why, what happened? 
You guys can stop now. You don't have to look for it. I'll dig a burrow. Let's take a break. Blog, are you okay? He's already gone. So what's this about, Captain? There's something you keep. There's something you're keeping secret, isn't there? This isn't about Marin, is it? Mont Blanc's little brother. That's right, Lieb. So you already know some of it. Do you really want to know, Lieb? Then talk to me later. Hold well on, come down. Let's go, Lieb. That was quick to make a burrow. I mean, I mean, he does have like welding tools. So I wouldn't surprise if he has a pneumatic hammer as well. Mont Blanc. We were thinking about your little brother. That weasel made you think of him. I dream about it a lot. What would it have been like if I could have stopped that weasel killing my brother? I would have saved you. <laughs> I was able to save you guys from another weasel today. Why does my heart still feel heavy? Because it won't bring Marilyn back. Bianca! Mont Blanc, it's time you let go. I know that I know how precious that red box is to you. I don't know what's in it, but it must have something to do with Marilyn. But it's time to let your brother go. And that red box too. Mont Blanc, you saved everyone's lives today. That's enough. Don't let your guilt torment you anymore. It's what Maram would have wanted as well. Yes, you're great. Mont Blanc, I hope you don't feel sad. So I'll sing a great song for you. If you don't want that, I can recite the tale of a rabbit that lost its wings for you. I go to myself. Mont Blanc, do you hate me that much? It's because I'm grateful to everyone. I'm definitely not crying. <laughs> it's raining down here. I'm not. Oh. I almost got really sad. Well, I, I mean, I did get sad that I thought I died. I'm like, no, don't do this to me, game. Oh. Wait. Don't come over here, Leap. Holy moly, why did you stop so suddenly? Hang on. Did you turn around to cry again? <laughs> what are you talking about? Whatever. I'm already embarrassed about crying earlier, so I'm not. <laughs> no, no, I'm not crying. I'm just worried about you. Anyway, this is really strange. What is? It's written on a map to go down from here. But I don't see a way down. So I've been thinking that maybe, maybe the ground will collapse if we step on a certain spot. There's no way. Whoa! <laughs> what the? Jose! Is he right? Did he fall down there? Is, is Jose dead? He's not dead, don't worry. Oh, Jose! Hey, can you hear me? me, me, me. <laughs> Jose, are you alright? This is amazing! Here so much in here. You don't have to shout so loudly, Jose. Are you alright? Of course! I used to break from Teddy Bianca told me a long time ago. I didn't get hurt at all. You can breathe now, Captain. Ooh. Hey, everyone, come down here. Why are George's statues is here? This must be the right path. So this will probably be... Oh, I can't climb up that. Ah. Whoa! That's a deep hole. Ow. We were barely able to find the passage that leads to this place. Do these expeditions and records have any meaning? I won't see Spotty again. What can I do if I miss a friend I'll never see again? Right now we're just running around like mindless drones. I've never seen such a huge burrow. This seems to be a very old rabbit burrow. Is this as big as the cage? This is much bigger than the cage. I'm in awe of its size. But is anyone here? It's too quiet. Did something happen here too? Is anybody here? Hello? No one is answering. I guess there really, there's really no one here. The rabbits who lived here all must have died a long time ago. An ancient rabbit civilization buried underground for years. Rabbit burrows are already underground. You cried and thanked us earlier. <laughs> Just saying what needed to be said. All right, all right, let's go through here quickly and let's get to the other side. I mean, he raises a good point. Ooh, a thing. You see, because I missed out on going inside a couple of places, so I'm a bit like, ah, but oh well. You know, I missed out on a couple of seeds. Farewell. This filled with 
in dreams. Some of the letters obscured and can't read it. It looks like the entrance of a rabbit burrow. Hey, Jose. Please, this is a fascinating place. I've already seen things like these in a book. In a book? Yeah. There's a book about ancient rabbit civilization that existed several decades ago. It talked about... It was talked about like a legend. But I get that it fell, in, it fell to ruin in a single single day. Why did it fall into ruin? No one knows. There are only theories. This place could possibly... This place couldn't possibly be it, right? Go on, explain these objects to me. What are these things? The squares behind you. Oh, well, we can infer from the colour of the painted surface. You can see blue, blue dye stains on those rectangular surfaces. I bet they glowed bright blue years ago. How do you know these? Did the Asian rabbits like blue? Yeah, blue is the colour commonly found in nature. I mean, you mentioned that about the, um, the flowers. Hmm. See, seeing that they use blue here, my guess is that they were very holy artefacts. <laughs> holy rabbit artefacts. <laughs> holy artefacts? Yeah. I don't know exactly what they are though. Seeing that there are quite a few of them, and not just one or two, this wasn't just a huge burrow, this was a huge rabbit burrow that achieved the pinnacle of civilization. Whoa! <laughs> All we hear now are the sound of machines. I know, hundreds or maybe thousands of rabbits must have lived here at one time. Why did they fall into ruin? Good question. Yeah, this is like... Ah, uh, you know what, I'm not I'm not going to broach the subject of advanced civilizations causing damnation and ruin on things. Yeah. Hmm, I think that'd be best to stay out of that conversation. Then why isn't it here anymore? They were probably struck by a natural disaster or something they couldn't have avoided. Or something they caused themselves, you know. Or is it, is it just me was the ground here rather sticky? How do you mention it? Yeah, it does seem rather sticky. There seems to be traces of something that covered the ground. The burrow, the burrow hidden below must be massive. Yeah, that burrow must have gotten submerged in something that could fill up that entire area. Right, so what is this? Whoa, okay, it's just a it's just a bounce pad. That's fine. Hey, it's Bianca. What are you doing up here? Seed. Oh. Okay. Okay, I, I, I see what the um the plan is. Oof. Nice. I promise we'll get more back to the bird story in a bit. Bird story in a bit. Bianca, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. I saw this bouncy ball. It reminded me of the old days. About the past? If you think about the past, when I was little, I used to play with a bouncy ball like this in the cage. You play with a toy this big? <laughs> the one I used to play with wasn't this big. But I had a lot of fun playing with a small bouncy ball that looked like this. After seeing that, my parents... They always brought an armful arm of bouncy balls when they would return to the burrow. Even after I lost interest in bouncy balls. That's something some parents would do. You know, a kid is interested in something and the parents kind of get lots of that stuff and then the kid loses interest and yeah. <laughs> but yeah. That's right. I'll never be able to return to that time though. Is there upper is there upper limits? <laughs> <I don't... laughs> it's unlikely. Maybe the machines are still running because soldiers looking after them. I doubt the machines will run until they're completely worn out. But it's a wonder they are still running when the power looks so old. Who knows, these machines may still be running even after all of, all of us are dead. Thanks, Bianca! Ah. Boing! Yeah, so we've got a bit of... Law! Bunny law! I'm on long, what are you up to? I was thinking about what material that object up there was made of. It's a very unusual material. There's something... There's something even you don't know? It looks like a special process was applied to the material. With that process, even a small amount could expand exponentially in volume. You mean it's made of a dangerous substance? I look like I'm nodding off to sleep there. Well, the material would be a blessing if used properly, but could be a curse if used unwisely. A curse? I didn't think that word would grab your interest. Not a real curse, but well, like a double-edged sword. This place must be full of that dangerous substance, right? There's got to be more that was specifically processed like this. The technology of ancient rabbits. 
the technology is so amazing. Back in the day, technology disadvantage wouldn't have been common. So it's no surprise that a lot of rabbits lived in this burrow. That's sad, actually. Don't worry, it's I'm much better at making things than the ancient rabbits. <laughs> it's not that. So, it's just none of the rabbits who live here are around anymore. But the machines are still here, quietly running. I wouldn't say quietly. These machines are meant to run continuously until they are turned off, or until they break down. The technological process of the ancient rabbits is impressive in that way. Then again, someone might have been repairing and maintaining them. That's a scary pro prospect, isn't it? Oi. Woo. And, oh, there's Captain. Excellent. So we can probably... Ah, come on. Oh. There we go. Ah. <laughs> Sorry. Um, Captain. I see you. I see you. I see you were here. I know that you only want to tell me about the things that are... I know you only want to tell me about the things that are good and happy, Captain. But sometimes I want to know what happened in Alpha too. About things that happened before I came to Alpha. Fine, leave. Ask me. What happened? What on earth happened? Well, Blanc said he was going to change the borough's layout that day. At the time, the borough wasn't built like a maze. It was very vulnerable to intrusions from weasels. Baron went outside the borough, probably to get some fresh air. But he didn't come back. Jose returned after picking some flowers when he saw Maron near the entrance, but his footprints showed that he was circling the same spot. He could have come in if he wanted to. Stop it from entering the burrow. Maron desperately held his ground outside so he could keep everyone safe. I want to know more about Maron. When Block and Maron grew up in the same rabbit farm, and two of them left in the, left in the hands of different humans. Maybe they were both abandoned in that park and reunited in the cage. When his little brother was killed by a weasel, Mont Blanc didn't eat anything and wept for days, even though he was trying to stifle his tears. Why does Mont Blanc blame himself for Maron's death? Maybe he thinks that if he had built the bow like a maze from the start, or if he had changed the bow's layout even a day sooner, Maron could have gone into the bow and escaped it. The fact that he didn't do anything when his little brother was dying outside the burrow haunted and tormented Mont Blanc for a long time. It's already been a year, but he has yet to move he's yet to move past it. See how he's obsessed with that red box? Then does that red box contain something belonging to Maron? That's what we think. But we don't know what's in it for sure. I was wondering what it could be. But it's clear that it's something that Mont Blanc cherishes more than anything else in the world. Hang on. If I go back to talking. Oh, okay. Yeah, so... Other than this game starting to get really weird with ancient bunny technology, you want to switch. These are... Ancient elevators! <laughs> you read about everything in books, don't you, Jose? How do they work? Oh, will ever. There's one behind us too. We should pull it. Did we? Uh, oh. The lever must be broken. If that's the case, Mont Blanc, fix it. <laughs> Thank God you're not dead. Why are you looking at me now? Do you think my arc world can fix it? Do you think my arc world can fix everything? This can't be fixed. It's an arc world. Jesus Christ. What? <laughs> Turns out, it can be fixed. It's still not moving though. You have to pull the lever. Oh, right. <laughs> Ancient bunny elevators. Wow, all three elevators moving at the same time. But why? So now we have to pull the lever over there to move it to another floor. That's right, Captain. Why did the Ancient Rabbits design these elevators so all three move at once? Then the lever. I'll go pull them. Okay, so Lieb will... Wait, what? Don't worry, Captain. The lever isn't that far away. I was nothing but a nuisance at the point. I want to make up for that. Why didn't they design it so the elevators move independently of each other? Get in, everyone. Let Lieb do it, Captain. That's the design and with some principle that I don't understand. What are you mumbling about, Mont Blanc? Nothing. Oh, 
A door closed and now it won't open. Hmm. It's written on the ceiling in the ancient rabbit layers that will open when the elevator reaches the highest point. Right, ancient technology was just stupid. <laughs> I agree with my blog. This is ridiculous. This is so dumb. At least as high as we fell from, I guess. Don't worry. It'll, it'll take us up there in no time. Me. Oh. For a minute, I was sitting there like... Whoa! No! Leave! Break your full leaves! Oof! Not like that. How am I going to get up there again? Good question. I'm surprised you didn't break anything, buddy. I've got to find a way up so I can save my friends. Oh. But yeah, I agree with my vlog. Ancient, ancient bunny technology is just stupid. Hey, I can go up this way. So it's... Oh, okay, okay, that seems to be probably the way I need to go. What's over this way, then? Now I'm just confused. Game, you're confusing me. Ah! Ah! Because I'm guessing... Ah, yes, there's a seed there. Excellent. That's what I was hoping for. Oh, okay. Wing. Hey! Oof, oof, oof. Oh, no. Ah, you... Sod. We'll get this seed and then we'll. Ah, with any luck, I'll get this seed. And we'll have to talk more about birds next time because unfortunately there was a lot of like plot there that kind of got dumped on us. I say plot. Um, but we can talk about it a little bit. So I got the seed. I'm going to double back because I'm kind of curious what was back the other way. But yeah, so my friend still said I was obsessed with birds, um, mostly because for this game I played, I only played Tengu characters, and just because I thought it was sort of more fitting. Oh, okay, what's this? Oh, that's a giant seed. A different grass seed maintained in perfect temperature and humid humidity. Ooh, sorry about that. A grape seed maintained in, yeah, okay, grape seed. And this one is another seed. Slightly frozen and thrown out apple seed. Maintained perfectly. <laughs> but it's slightly thrown out, you said. And then we have the pumpkin seed. Oh, okay. Um, mm. The statue seems to be home in my diary, so I don't intend to sculpt statues anymore. I'll focus on restoring this place. Okay, so I don't really know where I need to be, where which way I need to go, because that way looks. Hmm. But yes, I think we will end it there for the time being, because I think that's a good place to end it. Oh, there's a lot of weird stuff going on in this game. I mean, I'm still enjoying it. It's still fun. Um, I'm a little bit annoyed about part two seeds, but you know what? We'll oh get over that I suppose I mean it might be that at the end of the game we can go back to certain areas but um I guess only time will tell but anyway with that said and done if you've enjoyed this and would like to see similar content then please you know leave a like subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell go down to the comments and um we can continue talking on about birds and rabbits and what have you um I will tell you more about these characters that I created for this game um so and, and the long the the short version is my friends say i'm obsessed with birds because i specifically made a whole string of bird related characters for this one game um i think that's it <laughs> there might be some other things that i'm forgetting and i'm pretty sure if i go back and talk to some people maybe they'll remind me and be like hey remember when you know blah 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 that was a bird thing oh yeah you're right <laughs> 
<laughs> and um I did just remember something else, but we'll get into that in the next one, because that's a fun story. And it's one of my favourite um the uh, GMing stories, truth be told. I just fun concept, had a lot of fun with it. But that'll be next time when we're exploring hope because hopefully now that we're sort of separated from the party we'll have more time to sort of i'll have more time to talk about these things as opposed to just reading game dialogue <laughs> anyway i hope you've enjoyed yourself and i look forward to seeing you in the next one there'll be links to my mastodon and my coffee in the link in the description below and i'll see you hopefully soon okay bye for now <laughs>